So, with Godzilla vs. Kong about five years away, and a lot of people are still kind of like, this doesn't make sense, why are they doing a Godzilla vs. Kong movie, uh, you know, in the same, you know, a Godzilla vs. Kong movie in the same continuity as the Legendary Universe, you know, Kong, you know, Godzilla's just so freakishly huge. A lot of questions have come up, and I'm going to talk about, you know, just some questions that I think uh, should, uh, that I should feel like should be expressed. That's that's what I'm going to go with here, is that uh, basically just going to talk about some things that um, that have uh, been kind of on my mind since the, annou the announcement of this uh, Godzilla film. Well, Godzilla vs. Kong film. First and foremost, I think what's really going to be the selling point of what's going to make this, go this movie actually come to fruition is um... Uh, how well, you know, the following, you know, Kong Skull Island is going to be. That's the deciding factor right there, I feel, is that Kong Skull Island, which is go that's going to be the big deciding factor of if they're going to go through with it. Because remember, how many times have movies, you know, movies have said, you know, movie studios have said, well, this is going to be the start of a, of a you know, cinematic universe. Remember when, um... <laughs> Remember when Dracula Untold was supposed to be that? Then it bombed in the office, and now they're saying, "Oh no, that wasn't that wasn't it. It's going to be the Mummy that's going to start this universe." Dracula Untold was something totally different. <laughs> so, you see, that's going to be the big thing. I don't. I think Godzilla Two is going to be fine. But if Kong, uh, uh, the main thing is that this is going to be the legendary uh, take on Kong. So. That's going to be the big deciding factor: is how well if if uh, Kong does well in the theaters, then you know, then Legendary will move forward, and that will be the big deciding factor of like, yeah, now we're officially going to do this Godzilla versus Kong movie. That's going to be it. Let's talk about Kong himself. Sorry, I had to get some to drink. Uh, let's talk about Kong himself real quick. With Kong. I don't think you need to make him gigantic. He's obviously got to be big, but I don't think you need to make him, you know, as big as Godzilla. I think the best way you can make him is, like, shorter than Godzilla. Like, maybe 200 feet, you know, 150, 200 feet max. Like, Kong's the little guy going into this match. Not too little, because obviously if he was too small, Godzilla would just step on him. And Kong... Kong's got to be... Like I said, Kong's got to be big, but I kind of imagine how they would do this Godzilla and Kong fight. It's similar to how, if you guys, if you guys have read the IDW comic, uh, Godzilla Rulers of Earth, then then you guys have probably known there was a fight between Godzilla and Gyra and Sanda, the, Garga the Gargantuas. And that fight had Godzilla fighting... The Gargantuas were obviously, both of them combined, were obviously just outclassed by Godzilla... In, I don't know if the mic picked that up. That's my sister. <laughs> but yeah, um, with Godzilla, you know, in the Godzilla and Gargantua fight in Rulers of Earth, the Gargantuas, even though they were two, it was a two-on-one fight, they were vastly outclassed, but they still used the environment to their surroundings. They were big, but not as big as Godzilla, but they still managed to be, they were more agile. They also used the environment around them to battle Godzilla. In fact, I think it was... Yeah, I think it was either Gyra... Yeah, it was Sonda who picked up a... Like, an oil tanker and smashed it over Godzilla's head just as he was about to do his atomic breath. So that's how I kind of figure a... This new legendary and... You know, legendary universe Godzilla and Kong fight would go down. Is that, you know, Kong, make Kong big, but he's obviously able to get around the buildings. Like, he can climb up the buildings, he can jump on Godzilla's back. And this Godzilla... As my good friend uh, Billy uh, Bill Worster, aka Zazubar, um, he kind of stated that you know this Godzilla can it, it does appear that this Godzilla can be hurt. He can be wounded. He can be damaged. Um, he's very much in, he's just a larger version of the Showa Godzilla, which yeah I mean just because of size doesn't mean he's all powerful. That would have to be you know millennium you know Millennium Godzilla, which is probably the most powerful incarnation of Godzilla. Um, especially Final Wars Godzilla. But it, um, but anyway, that I digress. So, with this Kong, I think, like, maybe I could see that this Kong is obviously realizing, hey, I can't fight him in a head-on battle. I need to be, like, you know, smart about this. Because if you remember in the Godzilla versus... In the original Kong and Godzilla movie, the... <laughs> the whole thing with that 
was that um, when they did the American scenes, they kind of talked about that Kong was a thinking animal. Although, obviously, if you're a true Godzilla fan, you know Godzilla's obviously a thinking animal, too. Where they said, you know, Godzilla's stupid, you know, uh, he can't, you know, he's the, the brain the size of a pea. And, and if, again, if you're a Godzilla fan, then you know that's all kind of a crock of shit, because Godzilla has the uh, probably the intelligence equivalent to that of a dolphin or a sperm whale, or you know, even human-level intelligence in some incarnations have said. So, <clears throat> obviously Godzilla and, and Kong are thinking animals, but I think Kong, the big thing with Kong in this new legendary universe, if they're to battle, then, they, you know, Kong would have to, you know, use the environment more, he'd have to be, like, hiding out in buildings, just striking at Godzilla, you know, when he, when he feels like it. Yeah, make Kong big, but I don't think you need to make him as big as Godzilla. I think, rough, like, maybe he comes up to Godzilla's chest, and he's like, oh, I can't fight him head on. <laughs> um, and that's the other thing is that when the original... And I'm going to go back to the original King Kong and Godzilla here. In the original King Kong vs. Godzilla, Kong won. And that was on a multitude of grounds, one of which being Godzilla at the time. That was only Godzilla's third movie. This was more of Kong's movie. You know, this was more of King Kong's movie and him being part of the Toho universe for a short time. So, it was... Uh, it was more... It was Even though it was Kong and Godzilla's universe... It was mo it was more or less a Kong film, and with that, you know, came why that was one of the reasons why Kong won because it was Kong's movie and Kong was the hero. That's the other big factor is that Kong was still the good guy, and at the time, remember, this was Godzilla's third movie. He was still considered a villain. It wasn't until officially, you know, uh, Ghidra. It wasn't until you know Ghidra the three headed monster that Godzilla was finally, you know, starting to be looked at as a hero. So, th this is going to be a bigger, a big deciding factor here, is that um, I think Godzilla may win because Godzilla is more popular. I mean, seriously, if you walked up to someone and said, who do you like more, King Kong or Godzilla? Nine out of ten times, you're going to get Godzilla as the answer for that question. Now, do I think they'll kill Kong off or kill Godzilla off in this fight? No, because Legendary's got to make that money. So I feel like that's going. You know, I feel like they're going to fight. Now, another question that has uh, been a asked, and this is one has been um, brought up as well, is that um, are just Kong and Godzilla going to fight a f for a fight throughout the entire movie? But there has been kind of a speculation that maybe. Godzilla and Kong fight for a bit, and then they team up against another monster. Now, we don't know if that monster is going to be like Ghidorah or something. I think it should be a completely new monster. I think we should get a completely new kaiju that's very powerful, and maybe even a cosmic kaiju. I mean, we're already getting Ghidorah, and even though we don't know, really know his, his exact origins in the Legendary Universe, because that movie isn't until 2018, um, I think <clears throat> what you could do, honestly is have, like, a new kaiju comes down to Earth, and Godzilla and Kong are still fighting, and even though they don't like the idea, I kind of, like, like imagine this scene of, like, Kong and Godzilla, like, they're both, they, they both try to fight this new kaiju, if a new kaiju shows up in this, in this film, that they both, um, they both try to fight it separately, and then they just get knocked back, and Godzilla and Kong look at each other and just go, they just nod, like, hmm. And then they just go at it, or even like I could see Kong attacking first, and the the other kaiju's about to kill Kong, like beating the crap out of him. And then when the ki the, the evil kaiju or whatever's fighting them isn't looking, Godzilla just atomic breaths it in the back in the back, and Kong uh, gets the opportunity to either move or do his own attack on it. I don't know because that's the thing, like. I don't. I don't see like a world's finest kind of thing where they're gonna fight for a bit and then they're and then you know they team up and then they're like, "Do we meet again, my friend?" I don't think it's gonna be like that. If they do team up, I think it's gonna be like, "Okay, I can't fight this thing. You can't fight this thing. I'm. St I still hate you, but we gotta take this down." You know this because again, I if you're going to have another kaiju again, if rather other than you know it's just going because it, you know, again. This film could easily just be Godzilla and Kong throwing down throughout the entire film, like Freddy vs. Jason or Alien vs. Predator, or the original King Kong vs. Godzilla movie for 
that matter. I should have brought that up first. But yeah, if you do have another kaiju in this film, I'd say make it cosmic, because then you can make it have that Godzilla and Kong both realize this thing shouldn't be here. This thing is not of this Earth, and they feel threatened by it. They both collectively feel threatened by it because it's. They know in their in their deep down their instincts that this thing does you know is not from Earth. They know it's a threat, and it's alien to them, and it's a threat to their territories. So they're going to have you know just kind of you know they. I don't think they would team up consciously. I think they would be like we're both you know they both feel threatened like animals do that something new has entered their territory and they just kind of figure... I think they just, like, they don't... Te they unintentionally team up in the battle and then Kong and Godzilla just go their separate ways because they're too just, just too exhausted from fighting each other in this new monster. But again, this movie could easily just be Godzilla and Kong fighting. Although if that's the case, then I don't see... You know, there may be a winner, but I don't think the other monster's going to be killed. Now, let me talk about something... That has been kind of... I, think, I don't think people have brought this up. I don't, th I don't think anyone's brought this up, as li at least to my, uh, my thought, is that I don't think anyone has uh, really talked about this. <clears throat> how are Kong and Godzilla going to meet? I'm serious. How are Godzilla and Kong going to encounter one another? Because in the original film, it was some guy who wanted to make, you know, Godzilla mascot for his pharmaceutical company... And he got tired of Godzilla getting all the press, so he brought Kong to uh, to be like a spokesperson and have him be the new uh, the new mascot or whatever. And Kong got free, and the two ended up fighting because he wandered in Godzilla's territory. Now, de again, it depends all on Skull Island. For all we know, at the because again, originally it was uh, Kong Skull Island was meant to be a <clears throat> it was meant to be a film talking about the origin of Skull Island, but now, but now, uh, apparently, according because now we have this new this new stuff according to uh, Legendary that it's going to be changed a bit uh, to fit this new legendary con this legendary kaiju continuity, um, <clears throat> and through that, uh, we don't know uh, again. For all we know, Kong gets captured at the end of the film, and he gets brought to America, and uh, Godzilla, I don't know, comes back, and Kong senses him like it's a threat to his territory, and he breaks out of of J he breaks out of like his prison or research center or whatever the fuck they're holding him, and he goes out to hunt down Godzilla, and then that eventually, while Kong's hunting down Godzilla, Godzilla two goes on. You got Mothra, Rodan and uh, Godzilla fighting King Ghidorah. And at the end of the film of Godzilla 2, you see Kong, like, he's entered Godzilla's territory, wherever that is. And then, boom, new movie. So, yeah, that's the kind of the big thing, because Kong's isolated, for the most part. It's not like with Godzilla, where he could just swim to wherever, or he just senses a new monster, and he can just go there and smash. Kong's isolated. He can't really swim. Although, in the original, again, in the original film, he was big enough just to lumber back to his island through the water. Uh, again, Kong could easily be, big, be pretty big, but, you know, even at, uh, <laughs> even at a certain, you know, certain height, depending on how big they make him, you know, you still gotta swim. I mean, even Godzilla needs to swim in the ocean. So, like I said, Kong's kind of landlocked unless someone brings Kong over, and I doubt someone will be like, hey, we got this Godzilla problem, I found this giant ape, how about we have them fight? I don't think, it, after what happened in San Francisco, I don't think anyone's going to be like, let them fight anytime soon. Also, can we have the fight in Tokyo? I'm just saying, can we just, like, I, w I wouldn't ma mind if, like, in either Kong versus Godzilla or or Godzilla 2, that, you know, somewhere the, the next monster, gi giant monster fight happens somewhere in Japan. Oh, you know, it'd be kind of cool now that I think about it. Like, have the first fight in New York. Have the first fight between Godzilla and Kong in New York, and, I don't know, through, through some movie contrivance, the fight ends again, but this time they're fighting on Mount Fuji, like, at the end of the first, like, the end of the original film. 
I don't know. I'm just kind of like I just think that would be kind of cool. I don't know how you could get Kong there because again, like I said, the problem with Kong is that he's very landlocked. So that's kind of the big um, that's kind of the big uh, problem right there. Again, and it's not like people are going to be like, "Hey, let's go bring this giant ape because you know we live in a world of giant monsters and let him s and let everyone see him because he's the eighth wonder of the world." Although, if you lived in a world with a three hundred foot tall lizard, I think people would be going, ah, "Another giant monster! Here we go!" <laughs> yeah. So it's kind. Of, so it's kind of um, it kind of leads into that uh, argument. So, with all of that being said, I am very much looking forward to Godzilla vs. Kong, but again, the big deciding factor of if this movie's really going to go through is how well Kong Skull Island does, because I'm pretty sure Godzilla 2's already got that locked in. They already know, you know, with how well the bud, you know, how Godzilla, how well Godzilla 2014 did, um, Godzilla 2's going to happen. But again, the main, re the main drive for this film is how well Skull Island is going to do. If it doesn't do well, I would not be surprised if they decided to go, well, we were, we were thinking about doing Godzilla vs. Kong, but now we're not, we're not thinking, we're, uh, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so, yeah. So you guys tell me, what are your expectations, uh, for Godzilla? Do you think they'll just have Godzilla and Kong fight throughout the movie, or do you want to see another kaiju, either original or another legendary version of another kaiju? Personally, if I could say, like, maybe the legendary version of Biolanti, or maybe Gigan. Yeah, let's have Godzilla and Kong fight, Gai like, legendary Gigan. <laughs> uh, or do you want to just see Godzilla and Kong fight? You know, is that enough for you? And or do you want to see like um, like a version like Mecha Godzilla come in is somewhere in this film? Um, how do you want to see Kong and Godzilla meet? How do you think that will go down? Really curious to know what you guys have to say about all this. But once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.